it's my privilege today to spend some time with Scott Johnson, who has been legal counsel and served on the board of directors of the Alabama Broadcasters Association since 1974, 1975. And because we're celebrating our 75th anniversary, we thought we'd reach back to 1975 and honor Scott, because I, I don't imagine there's anyone else who's been coming to the association meetings this long. There's certainly nobody uh, serving on the board for that amount of time. And Scott is, Scott's our historian. He's our um, legal guide. He's been my mentor and a friend to everyone. And I don't think there's a broadcaster in Alabama probably that you haven't touched, represented, aided in some way, Scott. So thank you for that. Well, it's, uh, it, it, it's my honor and privilege to have been involved with this association all these years. And uh, it is a, um, it's a, a very unique association uh, in many respects. Uh, uh, the ABA has been blessed by having good broadcasters involved uh, from the very beginning. And, uh, you know, back uh, in the uh, 70s, uh, you know, there was Charlie Bowman, Clyde Price, uh, Julius Talton, uh, Mitch Self. And at one point, Mitch Self was on the NAB board. Um, and TV broadcasters, and uh, I mean, it's really re remarkable, and this was consistent over the years, and uh, another very interesting thing, if you stop and think about it, is we've been uh, blessed by having broadcasters on the board that compete with one another, but yet they join together um, and uh, work together, for the betterment of the broadcast, uh, uh, you know, industry in Alabama, and uh, you know these boards continue even today, and uh, you know it is really nice that we get, um, you know, big market, uh, big company uh, board members. Uh, you know, of course, Mark Mark Bunning and. Colin Gaston, uh, Stan, um, and, and radio broadcasters, uh, Nick Martin, and uh, you know Jimmy Shaw has uh, has stayed with uh, with the board, and uh, we get this good talent advising the association, and it's not true in every state. Also, the Alabama broadcasters have embraced public radio and public television. And uh, we sort of take that for granted, but it's not that way in every state. And, um, uh, you know, some commercial broadcasters had presented, uh, uh, you know, public public broadcasting, but it didn't happen in uh, in Alabama. And it's, it's, it's made the association stronger and more effective. Um, we've also, been blessed by having good executive directors for decades. Um, uh, I mean, Ben McKinnon uh, really picked up the pace in, uh, in the Alabama Broadcasters Association. He came up with more and more uh, ideas for speakers and programs and uh, did a wonderful job. And the association has always enjoyed really good turnout for the meetings. And, uh, uh, you know, lots of things happened over the years. We had ice storms and um, in uh, Mobile one year, the, the keynote speaker didn't show. And, uh, uh, but broadcasters from the audience uh, got up and told stories. Uh, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Earl Manning put a bag over his head and, and punched eye holes and told slightly off-color jokes. Um, and uh, but there's been good camaraderie and uh, and good leadership. Uh, ben one year didn't take a salary because the association was 
really in dire financial straits. Um, and uh, Sharon, I really credit you with uh, enhancing the financial stability of the association to get us where we are now. And uh, that's, uh, you know, that's really been, been good. And you've um, brought more diversity to the, uh, to the board, which is good. And, uh, and you've been uh, nimble in dealing with um, problems and issues that, that come up, which is really important for an effective organization. But um, anyhow, I could, uh, I could really talk for a long time, <laughs> but, uh, but I won't, but I, I wanna just reiterate how nice it is to be uh, receiving this um, award. And uh, again, it's been my privilege and honor to, uh, to serve the association all these years. And uh, I'll keep going as long as I can. So, <laughs> well, anyway, we're, thank you. We're counting on that, Scott. And, you know, I was sitting here listening to what you were saying, and you were talking so kindly about Ben and about myself. And I thought, but we're supposed to be honoring Scott. Yeah, um, yeah. But thank you for those kind words. And, and my predecessors, Ben and Jordan Fuller, were. Yeah, I should have mentioned, I should have mentioned Jordan. Jordan well, was, I, I know you was very. He was very uh, effective in uh, uh, in the years that 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 he was there, and uh, uh, again, I mean, he he had uh, good experience from uh, you know from his company, which he brought to bear to the ABA. And, well, uh, none of us could do what we've done without your guidance. You've mm -hmm. been there on our shoulder. Um, yeah. directing and, you us. know I could talk about I could talk about Von Seal for example oh, who, yeah. who um, helped on the radio licensing board in, in Houston in Burt Bank but uh, like I said I could uh, I could talk for um, a couple of hours but maybe we'll we'll do that sometime maybe we'll be down at the Grand Hotel in the bird cage and we can tell tell stories oh, great stories well i don't know that we'd find anybody to put a bag over their head these days but <laughs> you can certainly yeah. tell that story again yeah. well scott we just want you to know how much you mean to us and it wouldn't this association wouldn't be what it is today without you i mean you've kept us on the right path on the straight and narrow and out of trouble and uh and in good stead so thank you for that yeah well thank you